It's launch day again at Astra, and we're here to launch our very first solid rocket. And this time, we don't have to fly all the way to America to do it. We were finally able to secure a launch option in Germany, only about a half an hour drive away from our home base of Bremen. And today, we're going to be testing some very specific technology, which is going to help us get to space. So here are the goals for today's launch. First of all, we want to verify our recovery concept. Last year with Phoenix, we didn't really get a chance to test our recovery system because of our premature nose cone ejection. So this time we're hoping to get a test of our separation system and our parachute recovery system during the descent of this vehicle. In order to have a fully successful recovery, we need to hit three key targets. First, we need to successfully separate our nose cone at Apogee. That nose cone separation should then trigger the deployment of our drogue parachute. Finally, once the vehicle is below 500 meters of altitude, the main chute should be deployed. This will ensure a slow enough velocity of the vehicle so that it doesn't get destroyed on impact. Our second major goal for this rocket launch is to test our avionics system. We have a new computer system on board called CATS, which should be able to give us very accurate position information and also be able to detect Apogee. On top of this, Avionics has built its own custom computer, which we're going to be testing in parallel. It won't be able to trigger any actions on the vehicle, but we are hoping to get a reliable comparison between the commercial off-the-shelf option and our homegrown computer. The final parts we want to test with this Ascendance launch are our launch rail attachment mechanisms. In the past, we've used a fixed mechanism to the vehicle in order to attach to the launch rail and this basically has to fly with the vehicle, which can create a lot of drag. This is how we did it with our last rocket, Phoenix. But if we want to go to space, we're probably going to need a more aerodynamic option. So to achieve this, we've manufactured these self-deploying rail attachments. In theory, they should come off the vehicle as soon as it leaves the rail, thereby creating minimal drag throughout the flight. So if these rail attachment mechanisms are able to hold the rocket to the rail while it's launching and come off at exactly the right time, then they'll have passed the test. So with these three goals in mind, it was time to go and launch Ascendance. So we are in the second step of integration. As you can see here, the propulsion cockpit where the recovery line set is uh, attached. And then we have the second uh, piece, which is basically our avionics bay. You can see the avionics bay sits exactly right here. The avionics system is on and running. We have the avionics lines, the mains and apogee lines, which are coming out. We're going to connect this to the recovery, which is the next step where we insert our recovery bay into the rocket. Do you want to call the recovery, guys? That's the CO2 canister, so it's basically compressed carbon dioxide and what do we use it for is uh, we kind of like to have to pressurize the recovery bay um, so that it kind of it checks when we reach um, our, our altitude apogee. So at that point it needs to eject the, the whole uh, recovery bay parachute out. So that's why we use the CO2 canister to kind of like pressurize the recovery bay. <coughs> Oh, 
So we've never launched with a solid rocket before, and one thing we can let you know is that we drastically underestimated the volume of sanding required. So, remember to bring your 60 or 80 grit sandpaper when you buy your motors. One hour later. I need to get Make sure it's not straight. Yeah, it's straight now. Yeah. Things are progressing. Yep. You think it is gone to the second one yeah. or not? Yeah. Clockwise and in. I'm just saying to you. Really what are you doing there? I'm installing the ground anchors for our launch rail. What do they do? Well, they're anchoring the straps that we have into the ground. So that way the straps attach to the top of the launch rail and will hold it steady at also a higher altitude. Inside of the box. I can't find it. It's, it's not there. Floor anchor, yeah, watch out for the for the ground anchor. Okay. Yeah. Can you hold the rails? So we want to have it here. Could just stick it all the way up there, with the, with the, like this. The extension back there. So when we did the first couple of uh, tests with the rail, uh, was the straps would kind of get in the way. Do you want to put in the boat tail cameras now? Um, I could put them now. I want to. Okay. Okay. Auf a good launch. Area is clear both on ground and in air. We will start the launch procedure. Everybody remember to stay silent. Do not cheer, do not yell and stay in place.